we're starting to get some of those figures to come in. And 236,000 jobs were added. So that is above the expectation of 230,000 jobs. And then additionally here, taking a look at the unemployment rate, that coming in at 3.5%. The expectation there was for it to be at 3.6% on the unemployment rate front. And then also taking a look through some of the other data, average hourly earnings year over year, that coming in at 4.2%. The expectation there was 4.3%. So all of this considered, you got a beat on the payroll headline number. You got a beat on unemployment rate as well. And then a slight miss on where the average year over year for the hourly earnings would be. But all of this considered, uh, interesting to see this data continue to come in. Again, there you're taking a look at the actuals versus the estimates, a beat on non-farm payrolls, a beat on unemployment rate, um, that coming in better than expected. Um, and now the question shifts towards, okay, if you're Fed Chair Jay Powell sitting at home and you're lazy boy drinking some peppermint tea this morning. Peppermint tea. Peppermint okay, tea. All right. Why yeah. not? With some lemon in it. At the end of the day, what do you do with this data? This is going to be the last report before the last jobs report before their next meeting as well. Well, here, here's what I here's what I quickly jotted down on on, on my notes. Uh, likely another rate hike from the Fed, potentially a continuation of the slowing economic data or surprisingly slowing economic data we have been getting to kick off April. That is my initial decoding. Uh, of course, lot, lots more takeaways to come. Yeah, certainly we're seeing the dollar rise just a bit after this print. You would, th you would have to think that the Fed is looking at this. Not enough progress here in terms of the slowdown that they would like to see within the job sector. We know that the jobs market has really been so resilient now for quite some time. The Fed has been waiting to see a little bit more weakness within the jobs print in order to really show some signs that the economy may be slowing more significantly, that we're making some more progress at the fight against inflation. But when you take a look at this number, yes, some improvement when you compare it to prior months, but still coming in above expectations, slightly above expectations, 236,000. Average hourly earnings, like Brad, you said there, three-tenths of a percent exactly in line with what the street was looking for. And just a little tidbit here as well, employment continued to trend up, leisure and hospitality there, government, professional business, Business services and healthcare, some of those leading sectors.